Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking chicken and chorizo with rice. So let's start cooking. Okay, so for today's recipe, I've got all everything um, ready here. Um, I've got a chicken breast, um, wing included, and I've already chopped it all up into bite-sized pieces, roughly. I've got one chorizo, which I've cut up into thick slices. I've got about a quarter of a red pepper, half an onion, two garlic cloves. Obviously, you can add more if you like. I just had what I what I want, and I've got rice here, which today I washed it. And then I've got my chicken broth, some fried tomato, sweet paprika, can't go without that, some bay leaves, and some salt and olive oil. So let's start cooking. So to start off, I'll turn the stove on. I'll turn it up to number seven. And I'll add about three tablespoons of olive oil and we'll wait for this to heat up and then we'll add the chicken. Right, so once the oil is hot, we'll add, we'll add in the chicken and we'll just brown this all over. Okay, once the chicken is sealed all over, but not fully browned yet, I add the chorizo in there so that it'll shed its juices. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so let's move this about. The chicken is browning off nicely. Oh, look at that. The juice from the chorizo is mixing it in with the chicken. Delicious, that is. Turn the chorizo over as well. So let's leave this here for about five minutes more and then I'll take it all out and fry the vegetables. So I'll be back in five minutes. Okay then, so once the chicken is browned all round and the chorizo has shed its juice, we'll take it all out and put it on a plate. It wasn't so jumpy this today. Chicken's usually very jumpy. So it wasn't too bad today. There won't be that much to to wash. It smells really gorgeous really really nice and this is jumping a lot as well now cool. so what I'm gonna do next is add the onion the garlic and the red pepper and we'll just gently we'll soften it all up Okay then, so once the vegetables have softened up nicely, what I'm going to do is add 
a pinch of salt. I won't add too much because the broth already has some salt. I'm going to add a bay leaf. Smells really nice, this bay leaf. Yummy. I'm going to add about three tablespoons, as usual, of the fried tomato sauce. And of course, a nice tablespoon of sweet paprika. And I'm just going to add a bit of this broth. Just a bit. I'll add the rest later on. I'm just going to mix this about. So we'll just leave this here until, until it starts to boil. And then we'll add the rice. Sorry, not the rice. I meant the chicken and chorizo. The rice will go on later. Right, so once this is starting to boil, I'll add in the chicken and chorizo. Juices included. It's too good to chuck away. And let's just spread this out a bit. So I'm just going to cover this up and boil it for 10 minutes. Still on number 7, medium high. Then we'll add the rice. Right, so this has been here cooking for 10 minutes. So what I'll do next is add the rice in. I'll just chuck it all over. Because it's washed, it's sort of stuck to the sides. So let's just get this in there as much as I can. So let's spread it in a bit. And next, I'll add in the chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, you can use the any meat one or vegetable one too. It's all good. So I'm going to add in 70 CL 75. It's about three quarters of of that. And we'll cover it up again. I'll leave a slight gap just in case it wants to overflow and dirty everything. And we'll leave that there cooking for about 20 minutes or until the water has evaporated and the rice is ready. Right, let's have a check up on this. This is boiling nicely. The water, well broth, starting to evaporate. So let's carry on for the next, for the rest of the 20 minutes, which should be about 10 minutes, roughly. Okay, so this looks ready. Let's have a taste. Mmm. The juice looks really good. It's thickened up nicely. Mmm. Oh yes. You can really taste the chorizo. Mmm. It's gorgeous. So what I'll do next is um, I'll turn the stove off. Turn the extractor fan off as well. And I'm going to leave it on the same ring, covered up, and just leave it there for five minutes to settle down, and then we'll serve it up. Well, and here you go, today's delicious lunch.
What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching and see you soon.